How are you? Good. So I'm Nurse K. Um, welcome to the Katie Cares Rehab Center and Megadome. We are a community of healers and qualified medical professionals. Um, and you are here after a surgery on your hand. Okay, and so that required a lot of bed rest. How are you feeling right now? Good. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain in your hand? Okay, in your whole body? Okay. So I'm here just to give you a head-to-toe examination. I need to check your vitals. I want to look for any signs of um, infection in your hand, and I want to make sure that you're on the path to healing. Okay? Okay. So can I verify your first and last name? Okay. And your date of birth. Okay, great. Any allergies to medications that weren't listed on your chart? I see here that you're allergic to penicillin. Anything besides penicillin? Okay, and are you thirsty at all or hungry? Good, we have you hooked up to a fluid IV and we're gonna start bringing in food, okay? Um, just in a couple hours. Okay. Do you have any family history of blood disorders? Okay, of blood thinning. Any heart disorders or lung disorders? Okay, are you allergic to animals? That's good, because you have a comfort animal right here. So this is the um, animal experimental animal lab wing of the Katie Cares Megadome. So we like to pair our patients with animals that we think would suit them. And um, your animal is resting right here. She may come and go as she pleases throughout the exam. Um, we just ask that you are kind to her and give her lots of love. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin. to your heart and your lungs first, so I want you to just breathe normally for me at first, okay? Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm going to flip over and listen on the bell side. Your heartbeat sounds very strong and regular, so that's good. Okay. I'm going to listen to your lungs now, so I want you to give me a few deep breaths. Okay. In, two, three, and out. Two, three. Good. Again. In, two, three, and relax. Two, three. Okay. I'm going to listen to the other side. Okay. In, two, three. Three. All right, one more. In, two, three, and relax. Okay, that's very good. Your lungs sound pretty clear. Do you have any history of smoking? Okay, all right, keep up the good work then. I'm going to grab your blood pressure. Okay. Just hold tight for me, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, you are 109 over 75, so that's perfect, very good. Since you have been sleeping for a while, it's natural to have kind of a lower than normal blood pressure, so that's a very good reading, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and take this away. Okay, so your animal assistant is helping you. I'm gonna get your oxygenation on this finger, okay, because I know the other hand is compromised. Okay, make sure your legs aren't crossed, very good. 
All right, your heart rate is for a minute, it's a little high. Your oxygenation is great. It's 99% at room air. Okay, so I'm just gonna write that down. It's a bit of a high heart rate. Okay, I'm gonna flip to your page. He's perfect. Check on that again later. Okay, let me grab your temperature. Nine seven point nine. Very good. All right, so that's normal. Everything so far is going as expected. How does your head feel right now? Okay. Well, you don't have a fever, but I just want to check and make sure that you're not having any edema or any bumps or lumps in your head. Okay. Okay. I feel okay? Okay, any pain when I press here? Okay, what about lower by the neck and the mastoid bone? Okay, so just stay still. Oop. Stay still. I'm gonna palpate here. Okay. No contusions on this side. No contusions on the right mastoid. Very good. I'm just gonna feel, feel right on top of your head. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, and since we do have animals here, we need to be on top of checking for fleas, ticks, or lice. So I'm just gonna do a quick comb of the hair. I'm gonna visually inspect what's going on and also take a sample for our labs, but we take very good care of our animals. It's just that sometimes these things can almost come out of nowhere and we need to be ethical and be on top of that and make sure we're not sending people home with lice. Okay, so I'm gonna bend over real quick and just grab some of this. We don't have a lot of hair, so that makes things easier for me. Excuse me, a little comfort animal. Thank you so much for being such a good helper. Yes, you are. Okay. Just gonna look for any visual signs of lice. Okay. Looks very, looks all clear. And then I didn't see any dandruff, so that's good. I'm just gonna take a sample to be sure, and we'll send that to our lab for testing. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna go along the hairline right at your part of your hair. Okay, very good. All right, this is a good enough sample. I'm gonna break this off and put it in um, our containers, okay? going to do a quick sensitivity test to make sure that your face is accurate and you're having accurate readings of warm and cold. All right, so just real quick, just a few of these. So um, close your eyes for me, okay? Do you feel this? That's a cold sensation, okay? And do you feel this? Oh, that still feels cold? Okay. How about we do... Sorry, I have cold fingers today. Okay. So how about we do this as a warm sensation? Does that feel more neutral? Okay, so just say warm when you feel this. When you feel this, of course say cold. Okay, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, very good. Alright, I'm going to slide this along your face. Do you feel all the way from your nose to your ear? No points of numbness? Okay, the other side, all the way from your nose to your ear. Very good. Okay, now I'd like you to go ahead and raise your eyebrows. Okay, try to lower them for me as far as they can go. Good. Now widen your eyes as, as wide as they can go. Okay, good. Now squinch them really tight. Good. Open your mouth real wide for me. Now close. Can you make this scrunchy face? So these are kind of uh, my version of myotomes. I'm judging your facial muscles just to look for any signs of um, difficulty in moving your muscles, which could ind indicate some neurological problems, so I'm not just being silly here. Um, I'm going to place my hand just very gently on your cheek. I want you to try to turn your head. I'm just trying to gauge your neck rotator to make sure that you're able to turn your head, okay? So try to turn your head this way in three, two, one, good. Okay, other way, three, two, one, very good. Now try to look up at the ceiling for me. I'm placing my hand right on your chin, three, two, one, good. All right, chin to your chest, three, two, one. Excellent. Those are very strong. I don't have any worries with that. Okay. I'm going to take a look inside of your mouth next. So if you could open wide for me. Oh. Okay, your tonsils look healthy. Gums are pink and moist. Any pain in the gums or tooth pain? Okay, very good. All right, I'm just going to look a little bit further back here. All right. All looks healthy. No halitosis, which after sleeping as long as you have is kind of a miracle, so. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at your skin real quick, actually. Just wanna make sure that it's perfused. I'm not seeing any discoloration or inflammation. Okay. Everything looks really good. Your skin looks healthy. You're a little pale, but you haven't been outside in quite a while, so that's to be expected. Okay. All right. All right, I'm just going to be doing some precautions on your face, okay? I'm just feeling for normal reactions. Again, feeling for fluid buildup. It's really important to... Look for signs of edema, especially if your patients have been in a sedentary position for several days. We just want to make sure that there's no buildup of fluid. Okay, and some light palpation. Close your eyes and relax. Okay, just feeling your sinus, sinus cavities. Okay, your lymph nodes in front and behind your ears, pre and post auriculars, non palpable, and your jaw. Go ahead and open and close your mouth for me. No clicking, no popping. Okay, don't feel your lip notes here. Whoops. I'm so sorry, little one. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. That was mean of me, wasn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think she'll be okay. Okay. So I think next we're going to go ahead and straight to your eyes and ears. Okay. Have you been having any blurry vision? Any strangeness in your vision? Okay. Is it hard to see? Are you seeing things that aren't there? Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? How about now? Excellent. Okay, I'm going to take a look inside of your eyes just to look at your optic nerve. Okay, so look straight ahead for me. Okay. Okay, your optic nerve looks healthy. No redness. I don't see any signs of inflammation. Pupil and cornea, they all look intact. 
no drooping of the eye. Okay, I'm gonna look at the other eye. Okay, same thing here. All signs are healthy. Everything looks good to me. Okay, your pupils look reactive to light as well, which is very good. Um, I want you to go ahead and follow this light for me, okay? Okay, so keep your head completely still if you can and follow this light. Okay. Okay. Just with your eyeballs. You're doing great. A little dizzy. Okay, I'll stop in a minute for a few seconds. For a few seconds. Very good, okay. So you look very alert, which is what I'm looking for, signs of alertness, that your eyes are adjusting well to the room and to um, the medications that you're on. Okay, so I want you to let me know when my fingers enter your field of vision. They're gonna start outside of your field of vision and then they're gonna slowly come to the forefront, okay? So just say now, whenever you see them. Now let me know when they leave your field of vision. Good. 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 Very good. Okay. So, right now I'm holding up my left and right fingers. Go ahead and pay attention to the ones on your left or your right, okay? So when I move my fingers, okay, these are, these are my right fingers, but they're on your left, so go ahead and say left and vice versa, okay? So say left or right. Great. Good. 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 Okay. I had a little, a little too much fun with that. Okay. All right. So your eyes look pretty good. How's your reading? Okay. This isn't um, quite relevant to your hospital stay, but I am very perfectionist nurse and I like to do comprehensive checkups, so we're just going to check your reading. So, can you go ahead and read this row for me? Good, okay, and this row? Mm-hmm, what about this row down here? I have to bring it a little bit closer. Okay, go ahead and read. Okay, almost. So, I would say you don't have 2020 vision. When's the last time you had an eye exam? Okay, do you have trouble sometimes seeing stop signs, road signs? Okay, I think that it would be time for you to get a eye exam. We have an optic wing of the Katie Cares Megadome, and I can schedule an appointment with you. Uh, but that can be for a month down the road after you've healed from this. Are you interested in that? Yes, because I think you are um, you're nearsighted. Yes. Can you identify this color for me? Good, and this color? Great, you see these circles here? As I slide my hand, this way, are they getting larger or smaller? Okay, larger or smaller as I slide my hand this way. Okay, again. All right, and is this circle larger or smaller than this circle? Good, okay. I think that you're pretty good. Just look at me. Take a look at me real quick. Just measuring here, engaging. They look to be symmetric. Just making sure they're not drooping. No signs of glaucoma. No cataracts. You're way too young for that. Okay, so I'm just gonna write down that your eye exam is pretty good, but we're gonna make you a referral for a, um, okay, a non-urgent appointment for the month of, let's say April or June. June, okay. Let's say June 4th. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and check your ears. How's your hearing? Pretty good. You seem to be reacting to my voice quite well, quite normally, so that's good. So if you could go ahead and turn your head this way for me. I'm becoming a little closer. Very healthy tympanic membrane. It's about the size of a pea, which is what we'd like to see. Okay. 
no scarring, no scratching. I don't see any signs of redness, ear infection, or inflammation. Go ahead and turn your head the other way for me. Gonna look inside here. Same here, you have a lovely tympanic membrane. It's a nice pearl gray, normal in size. Okay, excellent. All right, so I'm not too worried about your ears or your hearing, but I'm going to perform a few just perfunctory tests to make sure that everything is as it should be. Okay. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my gloves. I'm gonna be making a rustling sound on either side of your ear. Let me know which ear you hear it on, your left or your right. Close those eyes, okay? Close those eyes, good. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be whispering some words in your ears. Repeat what you hear after me. Happy birthday month. Katie ASMR. March. Flowers. Pizza. Airplanes. Beaches. Central Park. Virginia. Mount Olympus, Serengeti, Elizabeth, this is my stream of consciousness, I love you. Okay, very good, very good. So I'm going to be using a tuning fork next and then we'll go ahead and move on, okay? Okay, so which is louder? I'm going to give you two options, position one or position two. Okay, wait. This is position one. Position two. Good. Position one. Position two. Good. I'll be placing this on different areas of your head and face. Let me know when the sound and the vibration stops. And if you either don't hear the sound or don't feel the vibration, stop the exam and let me know. Okay? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Very good. for you and giving you two options, which is louder, A or B. This is A. Mm. This is B. Mm. Mm. Good. Which is louder, A or B? Mm. A or mm. B. Okay, good. Now I'm going to be making a prolonged humming sound. Let me know when the sound stops. the hearing portion of the exam, which I'm very happy with. I'm going to give you a smell and taste test, okay? So we're going to start with things to taste. Okay, so this is a solution and it has just a bit of flavor to it. So you're going to taste something very definite. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes just to focus better and open your mouth. Cinnamon, yes. Okay, very good. And open your mouth. Okay, do you know what that was? Citrus, that was citrus, you know which one? Okay, that was not orange, that was lemon. But I think you were close enough, you were in the right family, so I'll give you a break. So write down that your taste is intact. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab your smell. I have a couple of smelling scents that I did leave in the other room. I'm gonna go grab them, but I'll be right back. Go ahead and inhale. What does it smell like? Floral, very good. Can you tell me what color? Or what uh, flower? Yes, that's a rose. 
think of red rose or white rose? That's a trick question. They all smell the same. Okay, so the next one is going to be floral as well, but try to guess which flower. Go ahead. What is this scent? Geranium. Very good. Okay, so your sense of smell is above and beyond. Top tier, if I do say so myself. Okay, so. Okay, one thing I'm going to do is just take a look inside your nose. Okay, I'm just going to clean it for any debris. So, let's go ahead and tilt your head out for me so I can look inside your nose. Okay. I do see a little bit of debris. And I think it's important that we do clean it out. Um, just because... It impacts your airway and your breathing. So I'm going to go ahead and just get in there. It might feel a little strange, but you're going to breathe a lot easily afterwards. Okay, so just tilt your head up. Okay. Bear with me here. This is a professional expert cleaner. It really gets all of the gunk out. Okay. Very good. You're doing great. Does that tickle? So sorry. Okay. Almost done here. Okay. Almost done. Excellent. Okay. Just gonna get here again. Okay. Scraping along the line here. Okay. Good thing I have gloves on. I think I should change gloves after this. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. So we're definitely going to sanitize this. Just putting that aside for now. Alright, so just putting on a second pair of gloves. This to be sanitary here. Palpating your chest now. Let me apply just a slight pressure. Do you feel pain there? Any aching or soreness? Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna bring my fingers from the center of your chest to the sides of your sternum. Let me know if you feel it all the way. Good. 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 So now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pull back the blanket. I'm going to take a look at your hand. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and look here. All right. And I'm going to peel away the bandage. Oh, this looks beautiful. It's healing very nicely. Uh, the stitching work was excellent. Uh, it was done by me, so... I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for that. Um, no issues here. And even the swelling has gone down since the last time we checked. Okay, so I know you said that the pain level was about... Right, okay. Well, you are going to keep having some pain because there was an incision and there was some bone work done. Um, but hopefully it's gotten a little better while you've been asleep. So, okay, we're going to continue to monitor it, but it definitely isn't showing any signs of infection. And actually, I would take your hand out of the blanket after I leave and just give it a little bit of air. Don't take the bandage off yet, um, but just rest it outside of the comforter. Just to give us some fresh air, I think that'll help the healing go nice and smooth, okay? But it looks very good, okay? I, I think it's a little bit too early to do sensitivity tests on it yet. Um, but do you feel any throbbing? Numbness or tingling on the hand? Okay, very good. Well, I think we can move on to the abdominal exam. Okay. Do you mind if I peel back the blanket? Okay, I'm going to take a seat. I'm just going to be palpating your abdomen, feeling your organs for any signs of hardness or making sure that everything is right as rain there. Okay, so just relax. I won't go too hard, don't worry. Feeling all 
good things so far. on one side. Okay, take a deep breath in for me. And out. Okay, let me get both this in. Okay, so I just breathe normally right now. Feelings are normal. Very good. Next, I'll be doing the Sharpar Dull test. Okay, just to check for your level of sensitivity in your stomach. So this is a sharp sensation. Do you feel that? Okay, and this little tickle here is going to be a dull sensation. So say sharp or dull. Did that tickle you? Okay, was it sharp or dull? Good. Mm-hmm. Sharp, sorry. I got carried away with the sharp tool. Yes. Okay. Alright. So I'm not worried there. I'm gonna tuck you back in here because it is a little cold. Okay. Okay, can I take some measurements? Just to make sure that your stomach is symmetric. Just measuring your body. Seeing me left side enough, I'm gonna measure your shoulder to shoulder. Okay, then sternum to right shoulder. And sternum to left. Very good. Okay. Next, I'm gonna measure your ankles. I'm just looking for any signs of overt swelling. Six inches each. Okay. I'm gonna like squeeze your ankles. Let me know if you feel the squeeze on your right or left ankle. Good. Close your eyes. Right or left. Right or left. Very good. Okay. So, just to keep you from um, having any kind of blood clots or swelling, I'm going to do a bit of acupressure therapy just on your legs and your ankles, okay? Feel good? Massage? It should. Okay. Okay. I'm almost done here. Thanks for being such a good support. better? Okay. I'm going to take a look at your feet real quick, although I'm not too concerned. Okay. I need to do a Bobinski response test. Okay. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Very good. So your feet were very responsive. I'm going to do a couple quick measurements. Okay. I'm seeing good symmetry down here. Okay. And let me know if I'm squeezing your right or your left toe. Okay, good. Right or left? Right or left? Good. Right or left? Good. Okay. 
We're going to do warmer cold only on the bottoms of your feet, okay? So let me know if you feel a warmer cold sensation. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. And do you feel it on the heel or the pads of your feet? Good. Can you wiggle your um, right toes, both of your left toes? Okay, I want you to try to push against my force with the pads of your feet. So point your toes outward at me. Three, two, one. Good. And I'll do the same with your heels. So now point your heels outward and bring your toes up towards yourself. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, your feet feel very normal. I want you to try to bring them outward. I'm not going to let you do that. Okay, and try to bring them towards each other. I'm not going to let you do that. Excellent. Okay. So, I'm not seeing any signs of newness there. Alright, this concludes our exam. I'm going to go ahead and stop it there. Everything was normal and healthy. Your vitals are what we were most concerned with. And of course, your hand. Um, everything looks normal and healthy. Your heart rate was a little bit high, so actually I am going to check it again. Get your index finger. Calm down a little bit, it's still high, but since your blood pressure was normal, I'm thinking it might be a problem with the instrument, but I'm going to come in and check later with a different one of these things, okay? Alright, so I'll be back later with more pain medication and some food. Um, do you have any other needs right now? So, with that being said, I'm going to leave you to it. Have a great rest, and I'm going to check in on you later, okay? I'll be your main nurse, so I'll be back. I'll be in and out of your life. For as long as you're here. Rar. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Bye.